Hello there and welcome to this exciting lesson in Revit Structure. In this lesson, we are going to focus on the annotation and detailing within Revit Structure by making use of the tags. And this lesson will focus on how you can annotate and tag, you know, a floor plan at a particular level on a steel structure, okay? And the model that you are seeing right there, there's a tutorial. If you want to learn on how you can model that frame, please check the card above there and go ahead and learn if you don't know how to create such a model. Okay, but in this lesson, we want to focus on the annotation and detailing. Now, tags are very, very important. And that's why in this lesson, I'll teach you on how you can, you know, make some changes to the tag so that it displays the information that you want. Okay. You know, Revit, why Revit is so important and good is that once you make use of the tags and maybe at some point you want to do some revisions, all the tags will update as long as you are using the tags correctly. And I'm going to explain on how you use such tags and how you can tweak, you know, the tags to display, you know, the information that you want. Okay. Now, I just want to ask anyone who is interested in learning Revit structure, that is for seal structures from start to finish, okay? And if you, you want to learn step by step without skipping anything, I have a course, you know, entirely or dedicated on steel structures. And it's about more than 88 lessons where we are going to learn on how you can model your steel structure, any kind of a steel structure, how you can detail and also produce all the construction documents. So if you are interested, please, Check in the description, also the first comment, and check out the link. You might be interested. So without wasting much of your time, let's get started in this tutorial. So here we are, as you can see, that is the level, level two, that will be detailing. And if I just go to the 3D, I've already told you to say that Make sure that you check the, 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 the cards above there so that you can go ahead and learn on how you can model this one. But we just go to level two and focus our energies on how we can use the tags to, you know, to annotate this plan. This is a general arrangement drawing that we are going to create. Okay. So after you model like this, this is what you are going to get. Okay. Now, the first thing, of course, if you want, you can start with the dimensions. Okay, so to create the dimensions, just go to, it's very simple, go to annotate, align dimension. You can pick the dimension from there, that is the one I want to use. And it's just a matter of picking the, you know, the points you want to dimension and you can simply place it there. Okay, you can also just pick those lines. Dimensioning is quite easy in Revit and I can place it there. If I want the overall dimension, you can simply do that. Pick that one and this one and place it right there. Okay. Now you see if I want to use, you know, the field arrows, just a matter of selecting on the dimension, edit type there. Then I'll go under the tick mark, click right there, and I'll use the field region that degrees large. Apply. Okay. As you can see, it's going to update. All right. Now, for this lesson, I just want to hide part of it. I'm not interested in, you know, just that part. I'll select on it. Then hold shift. Just want to remove uh, these three. I just want to hide this part. Okay. And also just delete or I'll just hide instead of deleting. I didn't view by elements, okay? Then select that one and just drag it. I just want to concentrate the detailing on this part. Click outside. Okay, now for you to start annotating, as I mentioned, don't use the text because once you use the text and maybe you change the member, the tags will not update, okay? The annotation will not update. So make sure that you use the, the tag. So I'll go to annotate and here we are. We have tag by category. Click on it. Now, this is the default template, okay? I haven't customized it. So by default, that is how you are going to see your tags, okay? So I can simply start, you know, picking the members just like that. It's something that can be done quickly, okay? You see that the, 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 the tag itself, the font is quite big. So you see how we can, you know, reduce it a bit. Okay, so 
that's a matter of clicking just like that like that okay you see that it's easy okay i'm done with the beams i'll also go ahead and you know tag the column just like that these are the columns that i'm tagging but i'm just using as i've mentioned i'm using the the default template so once you install this is what you are going to see when you start tagging okay it looks ugly but i want to do it like this then show you on how you can customize change the font you know the text size and everything that's the purpose for this lesson okay so i'm done with the tagging using the default settings now on the columns instead of showing the type name there if i just want to show maybe the uh, the type mark okay we call it a type mark for example this is column one we want to call it c1 so it's just a matter of selecting on the column click on edit type then down here you see that you have the type mark and i want to call this one as c1 then apply okay so all these columns have been assigned with a type mark c1 if i just click the other one right there go down see that the type mark is right there then for the beams i think i have about two types i have this beam I'll call it beam one, this one right here. Okay, I'll call this one beam one. Again, I'll select on it, then edit type, go down there, and under the type mark, I'll simply call it B1. All right, then apply. Okay, that is the type mark. Then I'll go to the other one, which is this one right here. I'll call it B2, select on it edit type go down there and i'll call it b2 all right apply okay so the information that i want to display has been shown there for the columns i just i don't want to show the type name this name that we have i just want to have c1 now this is how you customize your tag i'll simply go to that one select on it click on edit type i simply want to duplicate this one and i'll, I'll call it maybe type type mark okay I'll rename it like that click ok then ok so that is the one then what i'm going to do is to simply select on it it's already selected then go to edit family okay see that we have this one select on it and then go to edit label then you see that we have the type type name what we want is the type mark right there select on it then load it there then select on the type name and remove it okay then click on apply okay then go to load into the project make sure that you select the model which is open i'll just select you know, both click ok then you know i don't want to save the tag then overwrite okay then overwrite all right so as you can see we have c1 everywhere there so where we have the columns instead of showing the type name we have the type mark let's do the same on our beams i'll select on that tag for the beam then go to edit type then from here i'll duplicate and i just want to call it the type type mark this is just a name you can give it any name click ok then ok then it's selected i'll go to edit family okay this is the family then i'll select on the tag there then click on edit label you see that we have the type name that's okay but i also want to add the type mark i want to have b something maybe if it's b1 and then should also show the type name that's how i want it to be. that's how i want it to be if you just want to show the type name the way it is okay but for me i want to show the type mark and the type name so i'll go ahead and load the type mark remember i gave b1 and b2 i'll load it right there then i want to start i want the type mark to start there i'll move it up like that now after the type mark i want to have you know a space and a dash that is the suffix i will just you know add the dash there so we are going to have the type mark and the type name then apply okay as you can see it's right there okay then i'll go ahead and load it okay then click on no then overwrite everything there then overwrite once again as you can see we have b1 and the name there now you can see that it still looks ugly it's just a matter of changing the font you know and the size and everything so that it fits now i just want to indicate that these tags can be embedded within your template 
you are not going to be doing this all the time once you set the tags that you'll be using just put it in your template by this time we'll have finished you know doing all these so but you have to learn on how you can customize the tag so that it displays the information the way you want it to be so i'll go back to the tag then click on edit type that is the tag there or select on it then go to edit type the first thing i want to change is the width factor i just want to have 0 0.6 then right here, I just want to have two. That is the text size and I want to make it bold. Then click on apply. Okay. Then I'll type VG for visibility graphics within the family environment right here. Go to annotate and I want to show the reference planes. Okay. Click on apply. Click on okay. Now, let me end here. First of all, I'll go back. you see, you know, why I had to activate the, the, the reference planes. I'll just load it there. Okay. Just click on no, then click on overwrite. Click on overwrite once again. You see that it's going to reduce and it looks nice as you can see from here. Okay. So now I just want to make sure that the tags, this is how I want it to be. As I mentioned, you can do it the way you do it in your office. You just want to show the B1, for example, and display maybe somewhere the the, the the a schedule where it's going to tell you that b1 is this one instead of putting everything here but this is how i do it it's up to you the last thing that i want to do is just to move this close to the you know to the beam if you want you can start moving this one by one but that's not a good practice you want to go to the family select on the tag then edit family then you see that i have the tag right here i'll select on it and i simply want just to drag it down maybe up to somewhere there then select that click ok click on no overwrite existing then overwrite once again as you can see this is perfect and you can see it's ready for printing you can even place it on your sheets so that is how you can customize your tags if i want to move the c1 maybe closer to the to the column there i'll just select on one right click then select all instances in visible view i've selected all those tags and if i want i can simply you know i'm just holding my left mouse button and drag it somewhere there you see that everything is now close to the column the last thing i want to do is just select on that and i can simply you know select on that and maybe instead of turning off the bubbles one by one i can go to edit there and i want end two i hope that is the end to deactivate it there apply good okay as you can see i just have it on one side so this is how you do the annotation for general arrangement drawings and also for details make sure that you make use of the tags because once the information changes then all the tags will update assuming that the engineer you know decides to say that we want to change the size for this beam this is 254 10228 if the engineer changes and you already produce all the drawings you can simply edit you know the size and all the tags will update for example if i just go to that beam you know change the member there maybe we want to use maybe the 356 okay select on it click outside you go back you see that all those uh, have changed this is a uh, 356 as you can see from here okay it has changed but one thing i let me just make a correction i want to do i sell i just selected one member but if i right click select all instances in visible view you see that all those members are selected then that's when i can go there and maybe change to i want this is 28 i want it to be maybe uh the mass to be 30 maybe which one should i pick anyway you can pick anything let me pick this one 40 it's just for demonstration purpose you know as you can see it's quite a big member but it's fine i click outside you see that all those are going to change i don't have the mark there this was b1 so i can just select one now and go to edit type and then go down there and change the type mark to b1 again if i just click on apply that's okay okay you see that everything is going to change so the revisions in revit are easy if you are using tags so make sure that you use tags unless where the option of using the tags is not there that's when you can use text so see you in some more lessons in future